right, well, now that the weather is cooling off, we're spending a lot more time on our patios, right? Well, here to help us perfect our outdoor cooking skills is Tony Morales. He's the founder of Desert Smoke Barbecue, and he's going to show us how to make, get this, halibut with habanero peach barbecue chutney and zesty Brussels sprouts with pancetta, dried cranberries, and almonds. My mouth is salivating, and you do know that it's National Women's Fitness Day. You're killing me. Everything's healthy. It's all natural. It all grew. Okay, then. We're all good, then. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Well, welcome, first of all. Well, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. So, you are, uh, I know you're super, super busy right now. Oh, this is so cool. So, do you do you grow a lot of your... I do um, not. That is actually what... You get them from farmers. Right. I, I actually got this from the grocery store this morning, but this is what Brussels sprouts look like. I know. No one ever sees this. Everybody right. always sees the, the little bulk uh, Brussels sprouts sitting in the little bin. Mm -hmm. but that's what they look like when they come out of the ground. Crazy. That's so if you crazy. want fresh, that's the freshest. You can't get any fresher than that. So what we're going to do, we're going to start our peach chutney. Okay. Um, we start off by blanching about two pounds of peaches. Okay. So whole peaches, hot water, blanch them for about two minutes, two to three minutes, and then shock them in ice, and that way you can peel them. Okay. So you peel them, and then you uh, dice them, so you have a nice little dice. Okay. What if, what if I'm, um, you know, kind of a busy mom and in a hurry, can I use canned? You can, well, I wouldn't use canned, but you can use frozen. Oh, okay. Okay. Good enough. I'll take that. <laughs> Always take that. <laughs> so we've got the peaches in. We're going to put in about a cup of vinegar. And is that just, you've got apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Does it matter? It does. Okay. You want that apple flavor. Okay. So you're looking for the citrus, but you also want that vinegar tang. Okay. A um, little brown sugar and white sugar mixed. You guys drive me crazy that you don't measure. I'm, well, I feel, I'm like a measurer. I'm cheating. It's already measured. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you've got when your, you pour it out of the bottle, it wasn't measured, Tony. You were yeah. guessing. The but I'm okay of, with that. It's the beauty of cooking. See, when you're baking, you have to be all exact and perfect. It's a science. But cooking's an art. Oh, I didn't so realize. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. If you put a little bit too much in, it's not that big a deal. Okay. All right. I so you're going to put your onions in. All right. Some nice diced up white nice onions. Nice diced white onions. And you want just plain diced white onions on that. Okay. Um, some uh, sweet red pepper. In this case, I use bell pepper. Okay. It's just easier for the recipe. A lot of people don't know, well, is this pepper sweet? Is it spicy? Bell pepper's always going to be safe. It doesn't matter what color? Uh, it doesn't. I like the red for the color. Okay. Because when you're finished, you're going to look like this. Oh, this looks beautiful. That's the finished chutney. You want to you wanna see this? No, you don't want to see it? <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> We're going to put in... He's like, no, I don't want to see it. Well, I know at home you guys want to see it. I do. There we go. Okay, here, I'll show it to you here off at this camera. There we go. That's, this is the finished product That's right the here. finished product, and okay. you eat it cold or at room temperature. Okay, all righty. Um, you're going to put in some golden raisins. Mm. Oh, and you already put the cranberries in. Uh -huh. or, did you? Yes. Yeah, you caught okay. me. Okay. You all totally right. caught me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you didn't notice that. Well, but you did. It's not like it's a cooking show or anything, but you know, <gasps> <laughs> Tony's a little stressed out. No, not at all. <laughs> but the vegetable whisperer is going to be upset that I screwed it up. Why? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, vegetable whisper. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to bring it down to a simmer for about 15 minutes. And then the cool thing is, you can have whatever consistency you like. If you want it a little thicker. Okay. Then, <laughs> if you want it a little thicker, then all you have to do is let it simmer longer, okay. and it'll reduce. Okay. So you want kind of a syrupy, well, you want chutney. So it's kind of a, a, a tight, syrupy concoction. So your, your gauge here might be the, the peppers when they get a little soft, or... You want everything, all of your, all of your produce is going to be soft. So okay. it's all going to be fork tender, it's all going to melt in your mouth. Okay. So your, your onions, your, that's going to be the hardest, actually. The onions are going to be the hardest. Oh, okay. So you want okay. all, of your, uh, all of your produce is going to be very fork tender. Okay. You can't overcook this. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. That's good to know, because I kind of, you know, side on the caution, you know, side to just overcook it and that way you know it's done and that's not well, always a good thing. And really the only thing you're doing for this, you're bringing it together and kind of making a syrup as the base Okay. and you're softening the vegetables. So if it's a little, if you, uh, traditionally it's going to be very soft, but if you serve it a little on the al dente side, okay. all you're doing is adding a little texture. So it's not going to be perfect. Okay. No one's going to know. You're going to have all the flavor there. 
and you're going to have uh, a nice little crunch to the veg. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I am going to let you continue this process, and uh, when we come back and see you again, I want to talk more about Desert Smoke Barbecue okay. and who you are, what you do, and where you do it. And uh, you're going to then put together the, the, the halibut and, uh -huh. and all of that. The halibut and the Brussels sprouts. For, for the you next. have to eat your Brussels sprouts. I love, I actually love Brussels sprouts. I'm, I'm okay with that. Good. All right. All right. Well, I'll let you stay we'll busy. We'll see you shortly then. Okay. I'll be back. Okay.